and then solve for the unknown. All right. So that's the first planetary gear set problem on the homework, or the second problem on the homework, because the first one is reversed. Yes. Can you explain again how, how to add um, the arm uh, contribution? The arm? So on the arm, the arm is carrying the center of these gears. And so that is why when I look at either gear uh, three or four, whenever I add that component, I have to account for the arm carrying that, that center. Okay. Same with up here. The arm is carrying the center of gear five, so I have to add its contribution. But on gear two, because gear two is pinned to ground, the velocity of its center is zero. So I don't have to add anything there. Okay? What else on this? Yes. So in these equations, if one of the values is negative, like it works if we just plug in the exact value it gives us and keep all the signs? So if, say for example, Omega arm is given to you as clockwise. Mm -hmm. You use minus the value. Is that what you're asking? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But you just keep the same size. Right. Okay. And then you can. No. So we don't quite have all the those variables. So if we're not given omega 3, 4. Yeah, so then you would solve for omega 3, 4 and then use it in the other equations. Mm -hmm. That's the homework problem. Okay. All right. We good on this problem? I'm gonna do the next one. Yeah. This one I spoke using that one will be similar to this one in the final exam. Um, the final exam will have a planetary gear set. All right. It won't be this one. Uh, in fact, who has the book? I have the I'll tell you what problem I'm going to use on the on the final exam. Is that fair? Yeah. Yes. Exact problem? Well, not maybe the exact problem. On page 514, I'm going to use one of these. Which one? Yeah, that's a lot. <laughs> I'm going to use that one there. See that one? Yeah. Hey, yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. So what happened is some guy actually went through and, and cataloged all the different possibilities of planetary gear trains. And I actually didn't know this. Okay? Well, I've been making up this exam for a number of years. And then I noticed that, hey, it's always going to be one of these. Okay. So what people have done, I think I, I picked this up like a year ago. And what people actually did is they, uh, before the final exam, they solved all of these. Okay. I don't know if you want to go to that extreme. Or maybe you can get one, two, three, four, five, six, twelve of you together and do a but you better trust the, the other person. <laughs> okay. Yeah, was there a question here? Yeah. What else is going to be I will talk about that on Wednesday. All right. So is that vague enough? I mean, accurate enough? Or? Yeah. All right. So now let me do the, the uh, next one. Okay, so on this one here, you really do need to have both views. So you're asking earlier, 